Creo 4.0, Lesson 1, Part 2. The plate will be the next component that we create. I'm going to close this window, but it'll remain in session. New, this is the plate. Click OK. And it starts a new component or model for us. Again, we're going to go and make sure all this is turned on and go to our View tab and turn on our tags. Go over to our model tree. Make sure all of this is turned on. And we're going to click on File and go to Options. Take a look at some of the options. We want to go to our sketcher and we will see that at least I have this set to three and very high and I'm going to show the grid and snap to grid. Click OK. And in this case I don't want to save it so I'm going to go back and do that one more time. If I save it it means when I open up my session or if I'm working in a session it'll save with that a config file and again that's something that we will go over as far as config files later let's see if this has been saved correctly so I've got my snap I click on OK and normally you'll say no but there are going to be times when you want to save your configuration file alright so we can either pre-select or we can go to our model tab and click on extrude up here in the ribbon. If I don't pre-select then my choice of commands with my right mouse button is very short. So we'll do this a little bit different. We'll click on extrude then we'll select the sketching plane and you'll see that we have a grid and what we're going to do if you look over here here's where we changed our config and we are going to go to our palette. So we want to put our feature in here using the palette. But before we do that, we're going to turn and make the sketch view 2D. Now we're going to click on palette and we're going to go on to the shapes tab here, profiles, polygons, and we're going to use the eight-sided octagon. I double clicked here and you'll see the cursor change and I'm going to put it anywhere. I'm not going to try to put it in the middle and there's a reason for that. If you try to put it in the middle it won't snap there. Once it's anywhere on your screen now we can take our left mouse button and just drag it over and drop it. We can close this if we want and we are going to make this size two inches right mouse button check or you can go up here and check on the ribbon. Now another right mouse button will allow us to complete the sketch and I'm gonna right mouse button see what my options are. On my keyboard I'm gonna go control D and you'll see how far this is. Now we're gonna make ours two inches so I can do it in the dashboard or I could have double clicked here on this value and done it. middle mouse button or a check and the first feature is done for the plate. Now you'll see that it's still active or selected because it's highlighted over here in the model tree. Here's our section. Now the next feature we want to put on here is a hole. So I can come and you notice if I click anywhere in the graphics area it unselects the feature. If I want to select this front face here, come over here, make sure I pick the face, not a datum plane. And once it's selected I get these commands that pop up automatically. I could have gone up to the ribbon and selected the hole, but I'm going to select it here. 
and it's looking for two references. So I can drag this green drag handle over to one datum plane and over to the other datum plane. I'll use my middle mouse button to show you. So I selected my references in that way. If I go up to my placement tab, I can click in here and I can see my references. The placement plane and my offset references. Now I'm going to remove all of those and select them in a different manner. First of all, I want to make sure that right mouse button, I'm going to be in the placement or the offset. I want to be in the offset this time. And you'll see that that is the green active area. So I'm going to go, I can't select the front datum plane because that's parallel to the plane that I'm placing it on. So I want to select my right and I can hold down my control and select my top. So I can hold down my control key and multiple select. If I use shift, it'll take from one to another selection, just like on any Windows application. Now, if I go back to my placement, I'll see that they're back in here, but I don't want offset. I want them to be aligned. In other words, I want it locked into the datum plane, so there won't be a dimension now. Now, my depth dimension here, I can go and select up here, and I can select through all, or I can put my cursor over the little drag handle, right mouse button, and I can click through all here. So now there's only one dimension. And if I double click on that, type in one and hit enter, I've completed my hole. It goes all the way through. Middle mouse button will allow you to rotate the part. You hold it down and rotate it on your screen. If you don't have a mouse with the middle mouse button, get one. Right mouse button, let's see what my options are here and control D. Another way to get my view would be to go up and select standard orientation. And lastly, let's go to our view tab, appearances, and select another color. So for instance, um, I'll take uh, metallic blue. I highlighted it here, clicked on it, and it's too bright. So I'm going to click on appearances again, put my cursor over the color, right mouse button, edit, and I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to see that I have a variety of things I can choose from here. I'm going to go over and I'm just going to lighten this up to something that I want. close. Now, at this point, I would save the file. And it's ready to be used in the next step. And in that case, we're going to be going and creating the assembly. This concludes the second part of lesson one.